Hey Scribblers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Greg Guntanis, mystery writer helping you on your writing journey. I release writing videos every week, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. All right, in today's video, we talk about how to write a series, your main character. Let's get to it. Now, I decided to do a series of videos on my channel all about writing a series. Now, I did a separate video on this, and I'll link it down in the description below. But basically, in that video, I talked about how writing a series allows an author to really build their brand and their following. So check that video out. It's a good primer for the rest of these videos that I'm going to do about writing a series. So I'm going to take you from point A all the way to point Z about writing a series. So in today's video, we are going to talk about developing your protagonist or your main character. And disclaimer, a protagonist is essentially the hero of your story. Now, in this video, I'm going to sort of interchangeably use the words protagonist and main character. I sort of mean them in the same vein in this video. However, be aware that technically main characters can be different from your protagonist. So you could have a hero that dominates your book, but then in a certain chapter, the hero is not mentioned at all, and you have another central character or figure in that chapter. But for purposes of this video, main character and hero or protagonist are one and the same. Now, if you are envisioning a series for your work of fiction, it's important to really understand that the driving force behind that is going to be your protagonist or your main character because the reader is going to live that world through that main character for the duration of that book and many more if you have a long-winded series. Right at the outset, whenever you are envisioning a series and kind of thinking it through your head, you need to understand that the main character or the protagonist is absolutely crucial to building that series. Now, what are some ways that a writer can write a memorable main character or protagonist for your series? Well, let's talk about five ways. Number one, your main character needs a clear goal. What do they want in your novel? What are they willing to do to get it? If you have 300 pages of nothing but drivel, of boring events that do not lead anywhere, that do not in any way impact your protagonist, then that character is going to fall flat and your readers are not going to be willing to go the extra distance with your book and with your series. So it's essential at the outset that you realize or you think about what does your main character want in this book, in this scene, or even in this series as a whole? Does your main character want a better job? Does your main character want to beat up the person that harmed his family? Does your main character want to find somebody that is missing? I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on, but have a clear goal or a clear motivation for your main character in your work of fiction, and that is the first step to building a series. Number two, your main character should have a clear obstacle in the way. Another way to think of this is conflict. Your main character cannot just waltz through the whole story without any sort of conflict happening in route to their goal, because then the story is going to be boring, it's not going to be believable, and it's not going to set the stage for the rest of your series. So whatever your main character's goal is, and hopefully you have developed that, like we talked about in the first tip, whatever your main character's goal is, you need to put something in the way of that goal. Maybe it's a villain. 
Maybe it's some sort of criminal case that's looming over everything. Maybe it's an internal conflict with your main character. Something is in their head from their past that is just thwarting them at every turn and not allowing that character to get what they want. So start thinking about ways to fluster your main character and to make things more difficult. Because the more obstacles that your main character overcomes in your story, the better that story will be and the more it will resonate with your readers. Number three, your main character should really be relatable in some way. Now notice I didn't use the term likable because there are many characters in fiction or in movies, for example, that are not really likable. They're very violent, they're very brusque, but readers are fascinated by them, are drawn to them. So I think it's important to not necessarily make your character likable, though you could if that's what you want to do, but I think it's important to make your character relatable. Have something about that character that can resonate with the reader. Maybe that main character went through a significant loss in their life and that has profoundly impacted them on the way to becoming who they are. Maybe your main character wants a specific goal like we talked about earlier and there's something standing in the way that can resonate with readers. Maybe they've experienced something similar. So think of some sort of Achilles heel, if you will, or some sort of flaw that your main character has and that will resonate with the reader and make it believable. Because the last thing we want to do as writers is to make a character that is flat, unbelievable, and sort of out of this world. Yes, it is fiction. However, fiction is many times sort of a way to speak about reality. So find something that is relatable and you will see that it will go a longer way to allowing readers to like your story. Number four, have some quirks for your main character. These quirks and these oddities or these eccentricities, if you will, oftentimes make or break the character and the series as a whole. Readers remember these quirks and readers just can't get enough of them. They want to keep immersing themselves in the world of your character and oftentimes will spread the word and let other readers join in and experience this character. So one particular character that comes to mind for me is Jack Reacher. Lee Child uh, created Jack Reacher. It's a mystery thriller series. And there's some quirks about Reacher that are really comical and that a lot of readers just can't get enough of. So for example, Reacher drifts from place to place. He wears clothing for a certain number of days, then he tosses them and he gets new pairs of clothing from the thrift shop and he does not like using credit cards or phones and things like that. So little quirks like that sort of make the story fresh and add a new dimension. So whatever genre you happen to be writing, whatever series you're envisioning for your work of fiction, try and create some little quirks for your main character, some little things that would make that character on the surface seem weird However, also on the surface, make that character unique and that allows readers to get an inside glimpse of their life and their personality. Number five, have your main character go through a character arc. Now, what's a character arc? Basically, it's a transformation that takes place throughout the course of your story. Your character starts at point A and at point B, by the end of the story, hopefully that character has changed either positively or negatively and learned something from the experience of the story. So try and have your character change in some fashion because the last thing we want to do as readers is keep the character even keel throughout the story. They're not learning much. They're not interacting with the world around them. And by the end of the story, they're about the same as when they started. Doesn't really lead to a dynamic 
Character doesn't make things fresh and ultimately isn't believable. Readers can see through that because characters, even though they are um, fiction, characters are based on real life people and real life people oftentimes go through transformations. They do not stay stagnant in their life after experiencing certain things. So for your main character, make sure you take them through a satisfying character arc. So maybe your main character at the beginning of the story is sort of really mean, really uh, not a team player, really demeans everybody, and is sort of an asshole, so to speak. But then by the end of your story, maybe he's learned a lot more, he's a lot more forgiving, he's a lot more of a team player, he is somebody that has learned through trials and tribulations in your story that it was a benefit to him in order to change. So the gamut, you can run the gamut with this. Your character could ultimately not change that much or change for the worse, but by and large, the majority of stories, the main characters go through some sort of an arc, some sort of a transformation. So study the authors that you really like reading, the ones in your genre, and really pay close attention to how they take their characters, especially their main character, through that journey. You'll find that it'll be very beneficial for your story and for your series. And there you have it, how to write a series, your main character. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments for scribblers out there, leave them down below. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and hit that bell for notifications. It's a way for YouTube to see if my content is resonating with other writers out there. So I'll see all of you in the next video. And as always, keep scribbling. <laughs>